Peter is going to need so much faith. And we are the, in the same place right now where we rely on this so much. Why don't you go ahead and read 20 for us and then see what you, I'd love to hear your comments on that. Yeah. Verse 20, and Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Such a good verse. Such a good verse. So with this podcast, I started to notice over and over again that people kept bringing Peter up really? on the show. And I found myself asking, like, why is that? Because we don't talk about Peter a ton, mm -hmm. you know, within our church. And then I started to notice that every time that Peter was brought up, it was like, I can be like Peter. Peter feels something, feels like something that is actually doable. We can relate being, to Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I think Peter is such a great example of being all in. And we see how the Savior's like, you know, you're not perfect, and but I'm going to work with you. And Peter knows he's not perfect. And Peter has these moments of weakness, but then he really, we see him come into his own. And that all leads up to this conversation. And so I think Peter is relatable because we are able to see the same things that Peter sees. And in the same way that, that the Savior says to him, nothing shall be impossible to you, nothing is impossible to us. Um, we'll, we'll have things that feel like mountains and unsurmountable, but with the power of God, nothing is impossible. Yeah. And with Peter, the thing that I love there about him is that Jesus works with his potential, not always where he's at, right? So he knows what's going to happen at Pentecost, right? He knows that, that Peter's going to learn and he's going to uh, start to stand up and he's going to become what the Saviour sees in him. And that's what he works in. And so for me, I, I long to think that even in the weaknesses, even in my sins um, and the imperfectness of me, my hope is that God will always also work not with where I'm at, but the potential that I have as his daughter. Um, that's one of those things that keeps me going, right? And that's why I love Peter. You better believe that's why I love Peter. <laughs> but it's always so I like this, the Lord because he sees beyond what I am now. <laughs>